Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We have started a new tutorial series digital signal processing using MATLAB and Python. So in this new tutorial series, we will be talking about some of the basics of digital signal processing starting from scratch and towards the end of the DCP. And uh, we will be doing programming using MATLAB as well as uh, using Python. So uh, this particular tutorial series will be useful for any undergraduate student uh, for their semester paper. Uh, some of the theoretical concept will be discussed and will be taught to you. So in this tutorial series for doing the programming as we mentioned earlier, we will be using MATLAB and Python. So we are assuming that all of you are familiar with the MATLAB programming and the Python based programming. So if you are not familiar with them, so you can either contact us uh, for MATLAB basics or Python basics. We provide online training for uh, both the technologies or you can take any online course uh, use, uh, on MATLAB and Python. <clears throat> so when we talk about MATLAB, so you can download the MATLAB from MathWorks website uh, directly and you can use any student version or if it is installed in your college then you can use this MATLAB there. So but uh, uh, the thing uh, uh, installing MATLAB is pretty pretty easy and to use it also is very easy the only thing uh, you should take and care of like signal processing toolbox is pre-installed on this uh, MATLAB so that you can use any command a signal processing command directly right so now second is the python so as we all know python is a open source tool and it is becoming very more and more popular uh, in uh, in recent days and in uh, it going to be more popular in upcoming days as well so there are several other python distributions so you can use officially python toolbox uh, available directly or directly text text programming so there are several other uh, Python packages uh, or we can say Python bundle we will be requiring for doing this scientific kind of programming so some of the bundles are like numpy matplotlib and scipy and simpy so this numpy is basically mathematical tool then this scipy is a scientific calculation tool and this matplotlib is basically used for plotting functions so in order to plot graphs and all other things and similarly simpy is there so the simpy is used for symbolic uh, toolbox or symbolic kind of uh, mathematics so you can install directly all this toolboxes matlab these are directly available or those are very easy to install but if you are using any uh, python based direct or python uh, core python if you are using then uh, sometimes installing all these toolboxes could be tedious tasks. So, uh, what we'll suggest, we'll suggest to use this Anaconda based Python distribution. So, generally, this Anaconda comes up with <coughs> several uh, several small toolboxes or IDs along with it. Like, so we will be using this Spider ID. So, this is Spider is the integrated development environment for Python, and most of the uh, several things are directly installed uh, one more thing to mention like we will be using python 3.7 because as python 2.7 is going to be obsolete in upcoming year so we decided to use python 3.7 uh, for this course so there's a, a very small uh, a very small difference between python 2.7 and 3.7 right so all this way, anaconda is based on uh, python 3.7 so in this we have scipy is directly installed matplotlib is installed similarly numpy is installed and several other uh, small packages are also installed so if you open this anaconda distribution you just click on this spider and click on this launch and after some processing this uh, spider 
editor will open up so in this aspired uh, editor there's a text based editor you can use and this is the console on which uh, output of the commands and uh, will be displayed uh, uh, somewhat like to matlab only and most of the features like programming is similar to the matlab as well and once you write a program you can type uh, you can run these codes and debug and all those facilities are available in with this spider so we'll suggest you to give some time while fam uh, familiarizing yourself uh, with this id if you are new to python or if you okay so in order to check whether all these toolboxes are available if you are not able to visual uh, see them in the uh, in the uh, anaconda so just if you type import numpy as np so if uh, no error is being displayed then all this uh, uh, all these packages are already installed into it so import similarly we have to use scipy so import scipy as sci yep it is also import I import um, simpy so this is the beauty of using anaconda like you don't have to install by yourself any another thing you can is directly start coding just download the corresponding anaconda version based on your system requirement whether it is a 32 bit or 64 bit and then start coding so all the toolboxes all the packages are directly available so this is the uh, this is enough so actually this was the introductory video like what things you may be needing uh, while you will covering this entire tutorial videos so uh, uh, that's it for this video i hope you will enjoy this entire tutorial series on digital signal processing using matlab and python and if you have any problem with the basics of matlab and python then you can contact us at jcbro labs dot org or our email is being displayed below at uh, gmail at jcbrolabs at gmail dot com so we can also provide uh, training online training on this matlab and python so that's it for this video thank you